from a persistent ghost caught on the security cameras of a former royal residence, to a spectral pilot sat in the cockpit of an Air Museum helicopter. We present 10 of the world's most mysterious ghost photographs of all time. Number 10. The Girl in the Fire In the winter of 1995, Tony O'Reilly, a sewage farm worker in the Shropshire town of Wem, England, looked on as his town hall caught fire and burned to the ground. Taking hold of his camera, he documented the unfolding catastrophe from across the street. One of the photos shows the disturbing sight of a young girl, backlit against the fiery inferno, looking down from the burning building towards the photographer. Could local legend help identify the girl? In 1677, a young villager by the name of Jane Cherm accidentally set fire to a thatched roof with a candle. The fire rapidly spread, destroying many of the town's timber-framed houses and claiming the lives of countless innocent souls. Could this be the ghost of Jane Cherm? Number 9. The Spectre of Newby Church 1963, in the market town of Ripon, England, church minister K. F. Lord takes a series of photographs inside Newby Church. One of the pictures reveals a translucent apparition, its face shrouded by a white cloth, looking towards the camera. Some have suggested that the robed figure resembles a 16th century monk, its white shroud covering leprosy or some other facial disfigurement. Modern analysis has revealed that the figure is not the result of a double exposure, and in relation to the church altar, measures an abnormal 9 feet in height. Number 8. The Tulip Staircase June 1966, clergyman R. W. Hardy and his wife pay a visit to London's 17th century Queen's House. Impressed with the building's tulip staircase, Mr. Hardy sets up his camera to take a photograph. Little did he know that his tulip staircase image was to become one of Britain's most celebrated paranormal photographs. It reveals a shrouded figure ascending the staircase in apparent pursuit of a second and possibly even a third figure. Hardy insisted that he and his wife were the only people present when the photograph was taken. Number 7. The Solway Firth's Baseman In the summer of 1964, Jim Templeton takes a photograph of his five-year-old daughter while playing on a day trip to Burg Marsh on the Solway Firth in northern England. It was only when the photograph was developed that he was shocked to notice the bizarre sight of what looks to be a spaceman stood directly behind his daughter. Templeton later insists that the only people present were himself, his daughter, and his wife. When experts at Kodak revealed the photograph to be genuine, the mysterious image of the Solway Firth spaceman went on to create headlines around the world. Number 6. The Phantom Pilot ghostly encounter was the last thing Mrs. Sayer had in mind when in 1987 she visited the Fleet Air Arm Museum in Somerset, England. Posing for a photograph in the passenger seat of a retired Falklands War helicopter, Mrs. Sayer found the cockpit unaccountably cold, despite it being a hot summer day outside. Although Mrs. Sayer insists she was alone in the helicopter at the time, the developed photograph gives a possible explanation for the peculiar chill, when it revealed a ghostly figure in a white shirt sat in the pilot's seat beside her. Could this be the ghost of a Falklands War helicopter pilot? Number 5. The Manila Street Ghost Eastwood City, Manila Two girls on a night out ask a passing stranger to take their photograph. What they see when their mobile phone is handed back, 
shocks them. On the right of the frame stands a spectral figure apparently clutching the arm of one of the unsuspecting girls in a supernatural grip. Number 4 The Ghost of Hampton Court London's Hampton Court Palace has its fair share of ghostly encounters, and in October 2003, one supernatural resident is revealed on the close-circuit security cameras. Over three consecutive days, the attention of the security staff is drawn to one particular fire door at the palace. On day one, the palace cameras capture the doors being unaccountably flung wide open. On day two, the incident is repeated, but on this occasion, a mysterious figure in period dress is captured on camera, closing the doors. On the same day, an alarmed palace visitor writes in the visitor's book that she thinks she's seen a ghost in the same area of the palace. The fire doors open one final time on day three, but the apparition, seemingly content with its time in the spotlight, this time avoids being captured on camera. Number 3 The Billingham Child In the Teesside town of Billingham, England, 17-year-old Matthew Summers takes a photograph of a group of friends on his mobile phone. On zooming into the image, Summers is surprised to find not seven faces looking back at him, but eight. Looking out from behind the legs of two of the unsuspecting girls is the face of a ghostly child. Number 2 The Ghost of Freddie Jackson At the HMS Daedalus training facility in 1919, a Royal Air Force squadron posed for their group photograph. Little do they realise that looking out from the back row, fourth from the left, is the face of a recently deceased airman. Members of the squadron later identify the ghostly figure as that of Freddie Jackson an air mechanic whose life was cut short in an airplane accident just two days prior to this photograph being taken. The day was notable not only for marking Freddie Jackson's ghostly appearance in the squadron lineup, but perhaps not entirely coincidentally for being the day that Freddie's body was lowered into the ground at his own funeral. Number 1 the ghost of Raynham Hall. Perhaps one of the most famous of all supernatural photographs is that of the ghost of Raynham Hall. 1936 and Captain Hubert Provend, together with an assistant, are taking photographs of the hall on behalf of Country Life magazine. Suddenly aware of a ghostly form descending the staircase towards them, the assistant urges Provend to release the camera shutter, and the resulting picture becomes one of the most iconic ghost images of all time. According to legend, the ghost is that of Lady Dorothy Walpole, wife of the notoriously violent Charles Townsend. On discovering that his wife had committed adultery, Townsend held her captive at the hall until her death in 1726. The spectre of Raynham Hall takes its rightful place at number one on our list of the top 10 most mysterious ghost photographs.